there friends, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage, and today, in this video, we're going to learn how to play Solo One, Stray Cat Strut by the Stray Cats. If you're looking for the verse for this, uh, and the, and the, the, the rhythm part, uh, look for the link below or in the side here. It's going to be related in some way. I did a three or four part video for this, uh, one including a performance of it, but then also Solo One, Solo Two, uh, Solo One here, Solo Two in another video, and the rhythm of the of the song and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's talk about this. this. Is all we're gonna be looking at is the rhythm part of this. If you're looking for tone and stuff like that, make sure you watch uh, part one where I'm talking about tone and coming up with that sound, okay? Otherwise, go buy a 59 Gretsch and get some slap back, that sort of thing, and get a 59 um, Bassman. Not that I've got one, but got the guitar. All right, so uh, here we go. We're gonna jump into the solo here. This is solo one and um, let's do it, okay? This is based off of C minor, and there's a lot of C minor blues in this, and um, yeah, so here we go. So, the first bit here, what you're gonna do, again, the C minor uh, blues scale. If you don't know how to play that, you need to go to yourguitarstage.com and get the free ebook there, and I'll, I've got diagrams for you for free, okay? Um, all right, so here we go. So the first lick goes like this, and uh, it's at the tenth fret of the third string. And then we got a double stop on strings uh, on fret eight, strings one and two. So the the lick is give it a real good shake. Okay, and then we got the, a classic blues lick. into a little bit here that I'm going to show you in just a second. So we got lick one, lick two, and that's a, a bend up and a pull off. Okay. Lick three is so, so together. Okay, and what we're doing is here is we're going, this is uh, frets six and eight of the D string. You can do that twice. And then you're gonna pick five and do a little trill or pull off on eight. So like, so hammer on pull off. Okay. Then we got this cool little, Based off of it's based off of a C minor scale, so if we're going to be sliding up, so it's almost like a harmonic minor uh, in that we're we're grabbing that B instead of the B flat. The B flats in C minor, uh, harmonic minor be it be a B. But that's just kind of happens in rockabilly a lot, a lot of sliding. So we got and that's all picked. Okay, so again we're at the fifth string and we're sliding up. Three, five, and six. Third fret of the D, and back down. Uh, now this, when we're when we're going down, we're skipping this note here. We're just going. Okay, and then we got this cool little arpeggio, and that's based off of. You know, uh, I guess it could be based off of a, a G sharp major. All right, so you're going to slide into it again with your pinky. Okay, so you're going to slide from five to six and play your arpeggio right here. And this is seven, six and go down on the bar. Okay. Okay. Fingering is really important with that too if you want everything to land in the right place. Then we got this part. Okay. And those are chords. We're playing this on, on the bottom four strings, so don't bother with five and six on this. This is a C minor. By the way, if you don't know these forms, 
these forms that I'm grabbing here, it would take forever if I named all the, the frets to you. So you got to know these basic forms. If you don't, you need to get in my course and try that for a dollar. UnstoppableGuitarSystem.com. Make sure you check that out. It's literally a dollar to, to check that out for two weeks. Uh, just get out before the 14th day and you won't get charged anything more. Otherwise, you're probably going to fall in love with it and learn a bunch of stuff and get a lifetime subscription. It's up to you. So there's your C minor. Right? This chord here is going to be uh, basically... You've got... Uh, let's see how, we can, how I can describe this to you. Um, we're basing this off of... I'll just, I'm just going to tell you what the frets are. We're not going to get into the theory about it. I, I get a little a little heady sometimes. Let's let's just stick to the to the notes here. Okay, so on the uh, so the the form that you're holding here, third finger is at the uh, seventh or it's at the eighth fret of the D string. Your pinky is on the eighth fret of the uh, B, the second string. Second finger is on the seventh fret of the G or third string and then you get your paint your first finger down here okay and then you're gonna take that so you're gonna move it down a whole step now for this last chord what you're gonna do is you just move the three fingers down you're gonna leave the pinky where it's at so it's like this Watch the pinky. Easy enough, right? Give it a little dive with the, the bar. And then the last lick. A little sloppy there, but you get it, right? So here we go. We're going to go basically. This is basically what he's doing here is kind of a diminished run. It's like except he's throwing in this other note um, and it looks like this. So you're gonna go one, three, four. And you're gonna do that on each string for the first on strings five, four, and three. And it looks like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pick down and then really quick you'll do the up down down so you're so so it's like this phrase goes okay it seems more difficult if you don't know the technique you got to use this technique it's called economy picking I go over it in my program in the unstoppable guitar system but basically it's down up, down, down, up, down, down, and then to end the lick. So together it's going to go. Now, this bend here, he really, the way I'm playing it is not exactly the way he does it. He goes more like... Kind of at the last second, he bends it up, and then he's going to hit the eighth fret here of the first string, and the seventh fret of the third string. And I give it a little, maybe a quarter bend. Okay, and then we have our little double stops going up. Okay. This is all strings two and three, and we got frets four and five. You're gonna move that up a whole step. Same two strings, but now you're at fret eight and eight. And then frets nine and 10. Okay, so that last lick would go. enough. 
okay? So all together, and I'll do it nice and slow, so we got... Right? There's a lot of little tricky little parts here, but I promise you that if you just keep noodling at it, you're gonna get it, okay? Hey, uh, I've got a part two video for this, and of course the part one, and then a performance of it, so make sure you look at the side, and then the links below uh, for all that good stuff if you want to learn more about this tune. Um, by the way, I've been teaching for like 30 years, over 30 years now, and I've created a free course, so if you'd like to learn more about that, the uh, link is also below, yourguitarstage.com slash 30. It's the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. I love teaching guitar, it's what I do, I write books, and it's what I do for a living, because I just love it. I love playing guitar, I love teaching guitar. So please let me know how I can help here on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those places, I'm there too. So let me know how I can help. Please be kind to one another, spay and neuter your animals, and don't trust the man. And play your friggin' guitar, see ya. <laughs>